Hey, oh yes, no more. We can further say, I'll be my shkaz b'shalo, parshas b'rishis, tafrach, rish samachtes, aleph. Continuing in the concept of tadshe, the shalo says in b'rishis, the perush eitz pri, she yihye tam ha eitz, ketam ha pri. What does it mean that Hashem commanded that there should be trees of fruit? And because it says afterwards, Osepri, that makes fruit, so the tree itself would be fruit. So our sages say that the taste of the tree should be like the taste of the fruit, the tree itself. And this is the concept of in our likeness, in our image. I guess that if man is the tree in the field, so the tree should taste like the fruit. Hanishama vaguf yehushneim kodesh that the body, and the soul and the body, both of them will be holy. That the taste of the tree should be like the taste of the fruit. Relo yehiyah klipa masteres and the klipa should not hide. That the body should be holy, and the neshama should be holy of holies. And this revelation will be in the time to come. Like it says, that Hashem will not hide anymore. That's why this verse has to do with Yom Kippur. That ends to the world to come. That the body also will be holy, will no longer need eating and drinking. Just like the soul. And that's what the tree will be like. The tree itself will be the fruit. Because man is the tree of the field. Muhapri, just like the fruit, Shehi Hanashama, which in this allegory is the soul. This is what, this is what it says, you should afflict yourselves. Just like the world to come does not have eating and drinking. That's why in Yom Kippur, it's night time, it's like it's daytime. And we say Baruch Shem out loud. I guess the Baruch Shem is also the lower Yichud. That the lower Yichud, just like the goof, in comparison to the Neshama, also proclaims Hashem. And it's Kadosh. That's also, the concept of an Hashem should be for me the Elohim, should be Rinas Elohim, Zeushim Havaya Mamash. That the concept of Elohim will be also Havaya, will also be also Havaya. It's like the, the body that covers and hides also will shine. And the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. If so, it, the the nighttime is like the daytime. All of these concepts of darkness and hiding and clip no longer hides, and therefore the nighttime is like the daytime. Because in tam ha'ez va'klipa ketam apri, because all of this is that the taste of the tree and the clipa is like, if if it's not like the. The fruit, nimshat mishchem, and looking at if it's not coming from there, that it hides, and because it hides it. That's that's why the, the taste now is of the tree is not like the fruit, because the clipper hides. Mashain king, kasher vahaya, vayali lelokim, which is not the case when Hashem is to me, the elokim. Vav Rabus Breish Yisuf Parshe Amar La Kadosh Baruch Hu Tachi Haritz Deshechu. So it says in Medrash Rabbe Breish Yis, Holy One Basi Be said to it that the earth should sprout forth its grasses, its pri, and its fruit trees. 
Mahapri nechal, just like the fruit is eaten, Alpha eats nechal, so to the tree is eaten, Vihi lo but it didn't, it didn't do that. Vihila vitotse ha'aretz deshe, rather that the earth brought fruit forth its grasses, Hapri nechal, and then the tree, the fruit, the trees brought forth the fruit, and that is eaten, Vaha'etz inu nechal, but the tree is not eaten. Arkan l'shono. That's the end of the quote from the Medrash Rabbah. Zel Ashon Rashi b'Pirush Chumish, and this is what Rashi says in Chumish: It's pre that the tree of fruit she yehe tama eats ketama pre that the taste of the tree should be like the taste of the fruit. Vehi lo asasakena, and it didn't do that. Elav totsi arts that, but rather only that the earth brought forth its osipri. A, a tree, a fruit bearing tree, Veloha eats pri, but not the tree being a fruit. Lefichach, therefore, Kishin is Kalal Adam Alavono. When man was cursed for his sin, if the Gamhi Adkan Lashono, it was remembered also the sin of the tree. Ubir ze hashala, Rish Parshas Breshis, Taf Rish Samachtes Amadalaf. And this is what the Shala says in Breshis. So, Selamudmus, the concept of Selamudmus, who is of a goof, is the the soul and the body. So, you created us in our likeness and our image that you had a, a, a soul and a body. Both of them are, are mashalim. Both are allegories for godliness. That's Selamudmus. Kmosh ain't so nishama batzilus, just like the infinite is the soul. To Atzilus misyached imahem and unites with them, kein haneshama beguv. So to the soul in the body, <coughs> that's the ein ma ein mashikaz betora or parshas Yisro. Bedibur Hamas vil zachor v'shamer bedibur echad beferush ihu v'chayoi chad. Look what it says. Uh, in the Torah or Yisra about he and his lights are one. Masha goes to be guest to Kodesh Alpasuk Vayubash Tzedakah Kashiriyoni that he puts on charity like a uh, armor. All of this is a concept of Levush to the godliness. So to the Neshama and the Guf that the Neshama would be um, the Ein Sof and the Guf is uh, the Spheros or the, uh, the Oros or the Kalim. Uh, and, in, and in general, that the body is compared to the soul with the concept of that you save the um, container for the uh, book with the, together with the book. Together with the Sefer Torah. On Shabbos, if there's a Udleka and you want to take it into a Carmelist or whatever, you can save the container, the gartel, and the mantle of the Sefer Torah. So, too, the covering, the body, um, is compared to the names of Hashem, that the name Adnai. Is like the sheath or the to shame Havaya, the shield to shame Havaya, the covering. Right, Masha goes of Apasak Lo Yod Yadun Ruhi Achzir Ruhi Linen Dona. So look what it's brought up on what our sages said on the verse that my soul will no longer, my, my spirit will no longer uh, judge. That the word Yidon, don't say judge, rather. Will, will, I will bring it back to its nadan. The word yidon is from nadan of, of a sheath to a, uh, like a sword. V'chen la asid, so it will be in the time to come, um dea, that the earth will be filled with knowledge, afachomer, even the physicality, shu artsi i, even that its course and uh, of the land will, will, it will be filled with knowledge, takli sabria, Haisa, that the purpose of creation was to have man straightforward with a body and a soul, haguf, 
Kodesh Vana Shama Kodesh Kadashim that the body will be holy and the soul will, will be holy of holies. Im Kain, Vim Kain, Zewal Derakamusha Zaha Nekra Kodesh, who clearly begins Atik Yomin and Nekra Kodesh Kadashim. If so, this is just like Zir Anpin, that's called holy. Is a vessel for Atik Yomin, that's called the holy of holies. Kulam Chaim Maskilim Kulu, all of them live and recognizing godliness, meaning to say both the body and the soul. So too, in the time of creation, Siva Hashem is Barech, La'aretz, Hashem commanded the earth, Shetotzi Eitz, that the tree should come out, Shehi Yatama Eitz Ketama Pri, that the tree itself should be like the taste of the fruit. That's what it was meant to be. And it did not do that, because it knew that Hashem was going to hide the first light. That's why it did that. Therefore, the tree itself did not taste because that was not the kavana of creation and it knew it. So all, all, all of that's in the Shalom. We can explain his words. I'll pasuk here. The mitzvah sada on the verse, or based on the verse that the man is the tree in the field. Shabbos adam nikra etzah sada. The man is called the tree of the field. Vim kain zeshi yatama etz katama pri. This that the taste of the tree should be like the taste of the fruit. Einu shigama gufi yamizuchach betachlis. That is that the body should also be completely purified. By in zohar pasha shlach daf kuf nun ches al pasuk yishba etzim mayin. Look what it says in zohar on. If and if it, there is tree in the land of Israel or ayin, to begin as ayin or not, meaning to say the concept of not, the concept of ayin, does it have the concept of eights or is it or is it even higher the concept of ayin? In the Kutitor and Shlach, it says that the trees from the language of Advice. Which is the concept of, of wisdom, of Chachma. So if, if that's Eitz, what's Ayin? The concept of Ayin then is the Neshama. So the Neshama is going to be even higher from Kesser. Like we said, Atik to Zah. So the Neshama is going to be from the concept of Ayin. And the body will be from the concept of eitz, v'zeu eitz prichul, and that's the concept of the the tree of the fruit, the tree of the tree of fruit that bears fruit. So according to this, the the the, the marshal, the the goof would be the chokhmah, that's the eitz, or the mesasada. I guess well, adam is 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 the concept of chokhmah. Ad, adam de atzilus is is, is chokhmah. Zayin zeloshon azmor. This is the language of the Alter Rebbe, my grandfather's Zal. That he creates angels every day. to sing songs in front of him. And in, when they say it, they go out of existence completely. That the ability of creation goes back up to it, goes back up to its source. Leos pikoach v'lo befall to be. Only in potential and not in actual creation. It goes back up. And that's the concept of these grasses that the earth should sprout forth. That's with a hay. Not aretz. Or eretz. The one that's known that it is to say the supernal land. Just like the physical land, physical earth. Reveals the ability to sprout forth that was Asher Bekirba that was inside of it every day. And brings forth grasses and plants. So to the supernal land, the supernal earth, it reveals its ability of creation that's inside it to bring forth these angels every day. Look what it says in the Shalom that the land is the concept of will. That the earth on the bottom is the, the end is tied into the beginning. Look what it says about this. That he says, the Pasuk says that he says the beginning 
He says the end from the beginning. And before it was made. Uh, so the creation, he, so that the koach of again before the parentheses, that there is this ability in the earth to create something from nothing. And from this is created angels every day. That they should sing these uh, these battle and they should be nullified in their source. When you make crime dash and they're called grasses, because the land is from the language of desire and running come over to our partial precious belief on a masculine key cash or a shaman or a dash and walking in the Messiah dash on now. Therefore, it brings forth the grasses, shame between us, what's of these battle and quorum to go back up to their source. That's why the earth brings forth the grass, brings forth the grasses because it has this desire. Of Ratzon, behind Shamshem, and he claimed to us, to us so, to us, hey, look what it says that they're the two of K. Him and he claimed Bene Elim, they're called Bene Elim. The Yisrael Nikra Reish is to us, hey, and the Yisrael are called the beginning of the Tua. So the Malachim are called the Tua, hey, and Bene Elim. And Yisrael are called the beginning of the produce. Can Hashem as Yeshle Maliyah, as the souls have an elevation. The top Maila with the supernal wisdom. Ay Dezeh Gam Bechinas Hamalachim and all. Therefore, also the angels have this, and they claim to us, Hey, that are called the Tua of the Hey. She Chach Mashiba Ay Yadam Echadish B'Chol Yom Tamid Ma'asiv Reishis, which is the wisdom that uh, through it is continually created. That's the I guess the Tua of Hey. Is the wisdom. Yeshlehem Gam Kenalia Bachmila Yain Sham that they also have this elevation just like the angels. I mean just like the Shamas, the angels also have it. Vahinukiam Lachim Anal Nikradesha because the angels are called the grasses, Ulamaila Hembichinas Isev, Ulamaila Mehembichinas Aits Pri, that Desha is is below. And higher than that is the concept of Asif. And higher than that is the fruit trees. Usa Pri that makes fruits. Which is a concept, like we said, which is man, which is the tree of the field, or the body and the soul, which is the, the tree and the fruit. Therefore, man is the one who elevates both the desha and the ace of the grasses uh, in, in, in meta and the grasses in, in general, uh, each blade of grass in particular. From below to above.